welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel and welcome to another journey and Angel is trying to figure out her temperature blanket for 2022. I've had a few other videos before this about temperature blankets so check them out in the description below. Uh, this is also Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas day 15 and I've already finished a hat for yesterday because I definitely didn't do it. So we'll do a quick check-in on that and then we'll hop into the meat of the video. I did this hat here. Um, I don't love it. It's just okay. I used some leftover yarn from previous hats and I mostly just wanted to make a hat quickly. And in making this hat, I realized I really don't understand gauges and I don't understand yarn weights or more or less how to read a yarn label because there are a lot of details on here that I just don't understand. So we have paint box yarn which is the yarn brand I chose for my 2022 temperature blanket. And I'm going to watch a video on how to read a yarn label because I'm going to be honest, I really haven't ever thought very hard about it. I kind of just wing it. I have a favorite uh, needle size, which is the five and a half. And this is a size I needle and or hook rather. And I use it for just about everything. <laughs> but I have a feeling since my yarn is a lot thinner, it is a lot smaller that I'm going to use a different size. Uh, if I'm reading this correctly on the label, I believe I'm actually supposed to use a four millimeter hook, which is much smaller than what I usually use. I believe it's also telling me that a swatch of this, 22 stitches, 30 rows, is going to be four by four inches which seems like a lot. That seems like a lot of yarn in one space. So I'm gonna watch this video, which by Lion Brand Yarns, and it's how to read a yarn label because we're gonna, it's one of those skills, crocheting is one of those skills that I definitely learned it very backwards and very like from my grandmother. <laughs> so my grandmother was not around telling people to do swatches and check yarn and to like make sure that you're using the right hook. Like she's very much a wing it by the seat of her pants. If it works, it works. And she knows how to work the yarn. And so I also have done that, but I have found in buying nice yarn, which some of you still might not think this is nice yarn, but I do, it's, it's, it's rather pretty. I, I'm finding that I'm missing pieces of information from my yarn education. The lighting right now is ridiculous. <laughs> but this was the situation a few minutes ago. And here's the status update. I'm still trying to rewind the rest of the yarn. And I have started a very, very small little swatch here because I wanted to see what the stitch would look like. I only had a 4.25. Uh, millimeter hook and I feel like it's so damn small but I also feel like there's still some gaps in between my stitches and I just don't know how I feel about it also the lighting is ridiculous because it's getting dark outside and so I wanted to make sure my um, I wasn't gonna get like a headache from staring in the dark at my stitches but I'm gonna continue to try to untangle this mess and rewind my ball of yarn my skein and then once that's done then i'll go back to making the swatch i did figure out finally how to officially read the label it was pretty much what i thought it's not that i don't notice to me it's still the same if i don't show a sign i'm leaving my love blind expecting you to read my mind well i hope that you know that I hear that I don't let it show that I want you there's not a way to explain that it can finally I have finished a little square of all of the colors that I am going to be using from the first paint box haul so if you remember from yesterday's video I'm not going to be keeping this red as part of the final project but I do have six seven eight other colors it is about 5.75 inches up and down side to side whatever you'd like obviously it's a square so it's the same size all the way and diagonally it is about almost eight inches so 
this yarn, um, obviously I changed rows every, every, every color was changed every row. So lots of ends. I just kind of left them loose because this is just a mini version of what I would like to make. But I do really like these colors together. I thought the blue would be more of like an aggressive standout, um, but it's not terrible. And I think that if the month is very variable, these colors do look really nice together. It's 11 rows because I did a few rows of pink in the middle, just getting used to the linen stitch. And so if every row is about three times this, so every square will be about 16 and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. It will be about four and a half feet wide by about five and a half feet long, which is fine. I am happy with that length and size because it, again, I just want to make like these throw blankets. It's probably, hmm, we'll see how it looks in practice. But what I'm thinking is that I'll probably do like a little bit of like maybe I'll do like two rounds instead of three like this in the middle for like the beginning day of every month. And then I'm also going to do at least a little bit of a border around so that all of them are about 33 rows. And then obviously everything needs to connect and then we'll have a bit, sorry, I'm just like stroking the hair of our, <laughs> of our uh, un, unsewn ends. I'll probably also have a border of maybe like two or three inches around the entire blanket when it's done. But I think like a four and a half, ish by five and a half foot blanket will be a cute little throw it's just for me on the couch like it's not going to be a blanket for the bed or anything let me know in the comments if you have any questions about temperature blankets or if you have anything else you'd like to see from me i think i'm going to do some haul videos and maybe like a tag video in the next couple days here and then closer to christmas i am going to be wrapping some christmas presents for jose and my family so we'll get to christmas content i promise it's just not a lot of christmasy stuff that's all i have for today Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around through all this temperature blanket content. I promise the channel is going to be about more than just that. But I hope you enjoy and I hope this inspires you to maybe make your own or just make a project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.